Hi everybody and welcome back to the Little Miss Funeral YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk about how to pick an outfit for your loved one if you're having a traditional viewing. When I say traditional viewing, I am referring to having your loved one embalmed and in a casket, typically within a funeral home. So that's why I'm going to be suggesting the things that I am in this video. So when the embalming process is done, there are going to be some incisions that would need to be covered up with clothing for the actual viewing. Typically, those incisions are going to be around the collarbone area, but they can also be on arms and legs depending on how a person died, if a person had an autopsy, or if they were an organ donor. Now when you're choosing an outfit for your loved one, you do want to pick something that is going to remind you of them. So if your father passes away and he never wore a suit in his life, you don't necessarily want to choose a suit for him to be viewed in unless it was his wishes. I've laid out people in all different things. Sports jerseys, hunting and fishing gear, dresses that people may have worn to special occasions. So it really is a very personal decision. So when selecting an outfit for your loved one, you want to choose something that you think that they would like. You don't have to necessarily choose something super formal. It's not how it used to be where everybody was laid out in their best clothes. You do want to make certain that the outfit has a higher neckline. Because those incisions are made by a person's collarbone, you don't want to be choosing a v-neck or something very low cut because it's not going to hide the incisions that we want to hide. You don't necessarily need a turtleneck. In some cases you might, depending on how a person had passed away way, but typically something that is just a little bit higher will work fine, or if it's a woman, you can always provide some sort of a scarf that can hide a lot of things too. Gentlemen, if you are providing a suit or even an outfit that has a button-up collar, that's going to be just fine. You do want to choose something that fits them or is just a little bit bigger. You don't want to provide clothes to the funeral home that they wore 20 years ago that they just no longer fit in because it's too small. When clothes are given to a funeral home that's too small, I like to remind people that we are morticians not magicians. You also want to provide something that is long sleeves. A lot of times people can pass away in hospitals or under hospice care and they have IVs and they're hooked up different ways because of their illnesses and how they passed away. We ask for long sleeves because it can hide any of those bruising that IVs may cause. I have worked on some bodies where the smallest little incision like an IV hole just keeps on leaking even after the embalming process. Sometimes the smallest Holes are the most problematic when you are an embalmer. So long sleeves can hide a lot of that stuff. We also will do cosmetics on a person's face and hands since those are the two things that you're going to be viewing when you're looking at them. So if you give us a short sleeve, even if the person passed away and they have absolutely no issues whatsoever, we will be putting makeup all down their arm. And a lot of times that can look not very natural. So to keep the makeup looking as natural as possible, it's best to do it as little as possible, which means just on a person's hands instead of their entire arm. Keep in mind if you've experienced a loss and you have any questions about any particular details about choosing an outfit, you can always ask your funeral director that you're working with. They're going to have your loved one in their care. They're going to understand what they're working with, with their illness and how their body shape is actually in, and they'll be able to give you a lot of advice as well as to the best outfit choices that may work for your particular situation. If you liked this video, you can always give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time.